play, we gotta play. We're putting the lesson together. Welcome to Godly Play. Today's story is the Ark and the Temple. The people of God came into the Promised Land. When David became king, he collected all of the people of God from the north and the south into one group. He took Jerusalem from the Jebusite people and called it the city of David. David and the people of God began to live in Jerusalem but something was missing. It was the ark. David and his army went to get the ark. When they brought the ark in through the great high gates, King David danced before it. They set up the tent of meeting and put the ark inside. David was not allowed to build a house for God because he was a man of war his son Solomon would build the temple. All of the people had to help build the temple. Some went to the north, to Lebanon, to cut and bring home great cedar trees. They cut stones out of the mountain nearby and prepared the wood and stone to begin. The temple began to grow and people were amazed. There was a great hall for people. To come close to God. And there was an inner room. Called the Holy of Holies, which was for the Ark. The high priest entered only on the Day of Atonement, the holiest day of the year. The temple was beautiful with carvings of olive wood and gold. The great timbers of cedar made it smell wonderful. Inside the temple were the same things that helped them get ready to meet God when they were in the desert. The ark was carried inside by the priests. Here is the incense burner. It filled the temple as the incense burned. Here is the table with the bread for each of the 12 tribes. And here is the menorah with its seven branches and lamps burning bright. On the day the priests first carried the ark inside, a great cloud of dazzling light filled the temple. God was there. In front of the temple was the altar, as it had been in front of the tent. But now it was bigger. The same was true with the great basin of water, also called the labor. On the day all was ready, the king came before all the people and prayed. He said, O Lord God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth beneath keeping covenant and showing steadfast love to your servants who walk before you with all their heart. But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Behold, heaven and the highest heaven cannot contain you, how much less this house which I have built. Yet regard to the prayer of your servant and to his supplication. 
The king asked God to allow God's name to abide in the temple. He asked God to make this the place for people to come and pray and to find justice. Solomon ruled well and was wise. Some say he was wiser than anyone in the world. His father had been famous for his songs and war, but Solomon was famous for his wise sayings and the temple. Finally, after being king for 40 years, Solomon died and was buried in the city of David, where his father was buried, and Solomon's son was made king.